All right, guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Tina. I'm a full-time reseller. We are at my warehouse, and I'm about to open some viewer mail. Uh, after I do this, we are going to pull some orders that I need to ship today, and that's probably going to be today's video, just some warehouse, warehouse work. Um, I did already have a Uline delivery this morning. So Uline is where I get some of my packaging supplies. Uh, I definitely utilize my eBay coupon. Um, I have an anchor store, so I get $150 in credit every quarter. That is already used. I, I use that like right away. So like, I'm telling you, January 1st, I was like, where's my eBay coupon? Where is it? Where is it? Um, and they actually didn't even like load it to my my store until like late in the day. And it's usually there right away. Like I will, I always order right away. I fly through supplies. Um, but anyway, I also order from Uline. They have a warehouse that is about 45 minutes to an hour from me. So it's pretty, pretty close to have them deliver stuff. Uh, and it's more cost efficient for me to do that. Um, years and years ago, I used to pick up stuff. And at that time, they didn't charge a fee. You could just roll up to the back docks and, you know, get your, your order or whatever. And at that time, I think I had a Jeep. And I could fit like two bags of packing peanuts and, you know, a couple boxes or, or whatever. Um, well, now, of course, I've evolved um, and I use I use packing peanuts for like dinnerware. That is like one of my main things for for dinnerware or certain items like that. I don't use it for everything. I also use, you know, bubble wrap and packing peanuts. I also use bubble wrap in my dinnerware, of course. But anyhow... Um, I know some people hate packing peanuts. They do not like to use them. Um, you know, the ones I get are biodegradable, but um, I, I like them. For me personally, I like them. I don't have any broken dinnerware when I ship it out. Uh, it's well, well packaged um, and the packing peanuts help. And Uline has a very good quality of packing peanuts. They don't settle. They don't like smush up into nothing like some of these companies do. So anyhow, again, short story long. <laughs> I'm never the opposite, really. Um, so yeah, now I order and just have them deliver because uh, I still couldn't fit as much as I order. I get like 10, 11, 12 bags of packing peanuts at a time. I get some boxes. Um, or, you know, whatever, whatever I'm like really in need of at the time, but it's always packing peanuts, of course. So, um, yeah, it's like definitely cheaper because now too, now I think they have like a $25 pickup. If you do pick up an order, uh, I think they charge you $25 each time. So it's so much smarter to just have it shipped. It's like right here. And yeah, anyhow, still rambling about that. So Let's just open these packages now. I go off on these tangents. So here we go. First package is from Christine. So I kind of saved up a couple days. So I have a couple here. Uh, this one is from Christine S. And let's open it and see what is in here. All right. My little, uh, I don't know what you call this thing. Utility blade maybe I don't know I use these a lot they're good to like open returns open boxes open like strapping on things I just I use these for everything okay we have a little card a little card oh this is so pretty oh this is so pretty look at this with the with the beading on it that is so pretty all right, dear Tina, when I spotted this, I, I immediately thought of you, or no, <laughs> I can't read. <laughs> okay, 
let's try this again. When I spotted this, I immediately thought of Max and Bernie. Thank you for the many hours of entertainment you provide. Feel free to keep or sell. Much appreciated, Christine. Christine, thank you so much. Let's see what is in here. Oh, <laughs> look how cute. Oh, this looks like Bernie. That is so, aw. Looks like Bernie. Max is darker. Max is, um, Max is actually a Jack Russell pug mix. Bernie is full pug. And Crumb is full pug, even though Crumb is a blue Merle pug, so he's got a little bit different coloring. Um, but yeah, thank you so much. This is adorable, Christine. I really, I really appreciate this. <laughs> That'll go on the tree next year. Okay, so next item. item. I feel like I'm pulling orders already. I don't know. I'm like, I'm like mentally out of it. <laughs> oh man. All right, we are opening this. This is from Lori. Lori has been a long time viewer, uh, long time commenter. My Heart Cries is her um, her YouTube handle. Christine, I'm not sure what yours is. I'm not sure if you um, if you comment under your name because I don't recall seeing that. I'm not sure um, what your YouTube handle is. Okay, so Lori sent me an entire box of stuff. This is actually, this is so crazy, Lori. Thank you so, wow. Wow, this is like, this is chock full. This is chock full. Oh my goodness. All right, so we have, we have a bottle of probiotics and she did send me a message through YouTube that said, you know, you can sell this stuff or keep it or whatever. So this is a probiotic. Um, it does look like it's expired, so I don't know that I'd be able to sell that, but it looks like Gundry MD. It looks like a very, like, expensive brand. Okay, guys, real quick, just want to jump in here to, uh, tell you real fast. I was wrong about these being expired. They are not expired. That is is the manufacturing date. Um, so they were manufactured in 2021, February, February, 2021 is when they were manufactured. So they are not, they are not expired. They actually do not have an expiration date on here. They are sealed. And I checked comps. I looked up, I looked this stuff up um, and, you know, I saw some selling with the manufacturer's date of 2020, um, and so on and so forth. Um, but holy mackerel, this stuff sells for a lot of money, like a ton of money. And Lori sent seven bottles of it. Oh my goodness. I'm going to throw comps up on the screen. Holy freaking moly. Lori, please. You should not have done this. Um, wow. That is just, wow. Wow. That's all I can say. All right. Back to the rest of this video. Um, okay, then we have a Vanity Fair bra. This is a very nice bra. This is a very nice bra. It's like the front closure. However, I don't think that this is going to fit me. So I will probably list this for sale. 
but it is a very nice bra, new with tags. This is a Kinsley Armel. I've never heard of that brand. Let's see what this is. Oh, this is a very, oh, this is, okay, it's just the bag. It, it's not the brand. This is, she told me about this. This is a Weiss, um, Weiss brand, W-E-I-S-S. -S. And I have sold, I have sold that um, brand of pin before and it's done very well. Um, I don't know if you guys can see that right there on the, on the little branch. This is very pretty. This is very pretty. Um, yeah, I think that would do, I think that would do well. I think, I think that will get listed. Thank you so much, Lori. Okay, and then we have, we have some more little baggies. This is fun. I like all these little baggies. These are very cute bags, too. Oh, this is adorable. Oh, look at this guy. Oh, he's Weiss as well. Oh, what a cute little... Look at this Santa. This little Santa brooch pin. He is just adorable. He's got a little bit of paint loss, it appears, like on his hat. Uh, maybe on his belly too, but it looks like all of his stones are intact. He is so cute. Wow. Wow, Lori, you really outdid yourself here. All right, let's see what's in this bag. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. All right, so here we have... Hobe, maybe there's a little, there may be a little um, accent above the E. Maybe it's Hobe, Hobe, I don't know. Um, is this like an owl? These are clip-on earrings. Is that an owl? It kind of looks like it. So there is a pair of those. Um, it's kind of got like a mesh kind of like body. So yeah, I will have to look into those. That's different. Oh, okay. Maybe it's more like a flower because this is the matching like brooch and this has the same design and this one doesn't look like an owl. <laughs> this one looks like a flower. So I think I was wrong about the owl thing. Very, very nice. I don't see the marking on this one like I did on the earrings, but I'm sure it's there. I mean, it looks like it's definitely the same design and the same maker. So, okay. All right. Let's see what else we have here. This is a Lotus Otagiri Japan. That is... Ooh, that sounds like it's got stuff in it too. This is very beautiful. Um, I've sold their mugs before and um, other kitchen items, I guess you would say, but I've never seen a little jewelry box. And it does have the little like lotus flower or lily pads. Oh my goodness, lacquerware. That's what this is. It's very pretty. And this is packed with jewelry. Um, oh my goodness. Wow, this is beautiful. This is a beautiful, beautiful necklace. It is, it looks like it's by Napier. Napier, how do you say that? I think that's what it is. I'm just going by like what I can see with my glasses on. This is beautiful. This is a beautiful like pearl rope necklace. All right, then we have a couple more pins here. And this one, 
is Trafari. It's got the little pearls on it. And then we have another leaf style. And this one is, hmm, I can't make that out. I'm gonna need to try the, the jewelry loop when I can dig it out. It's in one of my drawers. This is very pretty. Very, very, I can't believe how packed this is with jewelry. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Okay, this is another adorable bag. Let's see here. Oh, this is so cute. This is another pin. Um, but what style is this with the little chain? What exactly is that used for? I've seen these before, but I don't know. It's not, it's not a hat pin, I don't believe, but I could be wrong. It's got this little pearl on it. It is also, I think it might be marked silver. I, I will need the jewelry loop for that again as well, but that is, very, very beautiful. And then we have, oh yeah, that's hard to read too. The, something Mexico. This is definitely, definitely a Mexican like inlaid bracelet. This is beautiful. I love Mexican jewelry, um, like Southwestern jewelry. Look at that. Look how small that is. So that is definitely for, I believe, a child's wrist. I have a pretty small wrist, but no, that's not, that's not quite going to work out, but it is, it is very tiny. So I definitely think that it's a child, but it's beautiful. All right. And then we have, oops, I almost dropped that. I'm going to put these back in the bag. Okay. Oh, wow. This appears to be like um, some type of shell. I'm trying to pull this out to see if I could see any like marking on it. I don't see any marking on it, but I believe this is a shell necklace. It almost looks like rice, <laughs> like rice pieces. Oh, wow. This is, wow. Lori, I really, I really can't thank you enough for all of this fun stuff. It is so much stuff. Oh my goodness. Okay, so here we have, here we have, oh, this is interesting. This is, appears to be a vintage, like Asian. It's got an Asian motif. Nine, I believe this is marked 925. So it looks gold, but maybe it's like gold plated silver. This is very interesting. I'm not sure what that would be called, but this is beautiful. This bracelet, this is small as well. That probably, probably would fit me. So I'm gonna have to do a little more research on that. All right, here we have another brooch. Ooh, this is very, very pretty. I love the pink rhinestones on this. And it is also marked, but I can't, maybe Cara, Cora? I can't quite tell what that says. I'm trying to hook the, I'm trying to hook the little um, pin so I don't stick myself. That is beautiful. I don't know if you guys can see that without it being blurry. Um, 
Wow, that is so pretty. And then we have another, wow, another pink, another pink piece. This one, I don't see any marking on it. So I can't tell you that, but this is beautiful. It's got like some, some like pearls, some rhinestone. Like this is beautiful. Look at this. That is beautiful, this brooch. It's like really detailed. That is really pretty. I don't personally wear any brooches or pins, whatever you would like to call them. Okay, this one is fun. This one is, I don't see any markings on this one either, but this is a very shiny. Yeah, and this one's, this one's beautiful. It doesn't have any issues got like iridescent like rhinestones this thing just like shimmers this is so pretty I love that I love the coloring I mean it looks like it's a pretty basic like gold tone but it just the way it shimmers the colors change it's got like an iridescent quality I probably already said that I don't know um oh okay so here we have another pair of clip-on earrings these are ooh, these are fancy these are fancy so I don't see any marking on them so I don't know but they look like they're vintage I mean I'm sure maybe most clip-ons are I'm not sure if clip-on earrings are still made nowadays are they are clip-on earrings still made and sold right now I mean, I'm sure there's probably, you know, like an Amazon seller. I'm sure there's like maybe some mass marketed clip-on earrings. I don't know. Like, what do you guys think? Are, do clip-on earrings, like, are they still made is what I'm trying to say. <laughs> you know, by actual like, um, you know, like well-known well like costume artists or costume jewelry designers or whatever or... um jewelers in general I'm not talking about like mass produced stuff from like China I'm talking about like a jeweler you know like are they still are they still made I don't know I don't I, I don't know but these are beautiful I only took one out but again look at that color look at that shimmer that is just that's beautiful and I don't even know so I think I'm holding it wrong it's a clip-on so it would be like this way it would clip onto your ear. I mean, that is fancy. That is so fancy. Like, so fancy. They're beautiful. Very, very beautiful. I can some see someone all dolled up wearing those. Okay, so we have another looks to be Cora. And this one is missing a little blue. Oh, it's missing two of the blue stones, unfortunately. But this is also very pretty. This is very pretty. And then we have another pink. This reminds me of the, the larger one, kind of, as far as the detail and everything. This is very pretty. Would that be like, I don't know what kind of flower that would kind of be. The pink is actually darker, I feel like, in person than it's showing up on camera. Um, these are beautiful, beautiful pieces. Ay, ay, ay. Okay, we have a couple more. Oh, this one is super cool. This one is super, super cool. I don't see any mark on her, but this is like a ballet dancer. And the stones, it looks like um, it looks like possible shell. Um, what am I looking for? What am I looking for? The name of the shell. 
Guys, drop it in the comments because it's escaping me right now. Not Mother of Pearl. Maybe it is Mother of Pearl. It's got that like iridescent quality if you, you can see when I'm like turning it. Um, very pretty. I don't know if it's Mother of Pearl. I don't know. What do you guys think that shell is? Drop it in the comments. Okay, and then we have another one. This looks like it might be... Um, Kind of a flower is that? I don't know. <laughs> what kind of flower do you think this is? Wow, I have spent, I'm looking at the time now and this video is like over 23 minutes long already and I need to pull items. So yeah, I spent a lot of time with the unboxing here, but there was a lot to go through and we still have a little bit more. This is so cute. This is like a little dolphin, like wrap around ring. So it would like wrap around your finger, like part, part way. That is very pretty. That is very pretty. Uh, I'm trying to see. It looks like there is a mark on here, but I just can't quite make it out. So yeah, we're going to keep that one on for now and then we have some earrings this also looks like um like southwestern with the little turquoise stone in it there are two of them there is a pair this is marked 925 i believe so that's sterling oh, very very nice Oh, okay. And then we do have more of the, um, we have more of the probiotics in here. Thank you so much. I think we have all of the jewelry. Okay. Again, one last time, Lori, thank you so much. This was an incredible box of stuff. And wow, I am like, you sent me so much stuff. I am like shocked, but thank you so very much. Uh, lots of interesting items for me to look into now. I am very curious about some of them. And again, Christine, thank you so much for the adorable pug ornament. This thing is so freaking cute. All right, guys, let's go pull some orders. Alrighty, guys, so we are only going to pull some of the items here because I know this video is already getting a little bit long. But anyhow, the first thing we're going to pull is a blue sky, um ice cream bowl uh in my I believe it was my previous video uh I sold the one with the blueberries I think that was the one and now I sold the other one so yeah the one with the cherries I think actually maybe it's not cherries it's back here I'm trying to grab it <laughs> here we go so it's kind of like cherries and cherry blossoms I believe uh so yeah, by Jay McCall, and I believe that the same buyer that purchased the other one purchased this. It sold for $22.50 plus shipping. And I should probably mention that at the time that sold, I had my sale, my store on sale, 10% uh, off sale for like two days I ran, I ran it. It actually just, I think just ended like, a little while ago all right next item next item we're going to pull okay this is a cross stitch kit this actually came out of um, a sale from two years ago in oh actually no 2020 this sale was in 2020 already so this is three years ago uh, it was phenomenal it was like one of the best estate sales of my life um it was like this total hoarder house this lady had so much cross stitch so much everything purses clothing cross stitch holiday decor uh i think i did i think i did some hauls for it at my house uh i was still at my house it was 
literally the last sale before the pandemic hit and it was such a blessing because all of this stuff sold so well like people were buying cross stitch kits like crazy but i had hundreds and hundreds of them i still have some left but you know it's definitely dwindled down to um not a lot let's just put it that way anyhow this one uh, was listed for a hundred and something I can't actually recall because it was also on sale but the buyer sent me an offer for a hundred dollars and I took it let's go pull it all right so this one is in box BB 135 I actually I actually did not list this one back then I actually didn't even list this until I was in the warehouse here because I wasn't real sure about it I wasn't sure if it was complete, I wasn't sure. I don't know. I just wasn't sure about it. Here it is. It is a Victorian pocket purse. It's from the Historic Needlework, Needlework Guild. It's a limited edition. I can get it open. But yeah, so it had like these photos and stuff. So I wasn't sure like which one it was or whatever, but I got it all figured out. And, uh, yeah, so this sold for $100 plus shipping. So awesome to still have a sale like that um, from, this, from this estate sale. Okay, so next item in here is a pair of Easter Anna Lee dolls. Now these I bought, I think also maybe back about three years ago, I purchased a huge lot of Anna Lee dolls. Uh, for $100 off of Facebook Marketplace. I sold a bunch of them already. Some I even sold at the flea market because I just got tired of looking at all of them. Uh, so anyway, I sold an Easter pair. I took a best offer of $45. I actually looked this morning and I had these listed for over $100. i am like, oh my goodness. Um, but I took a really low offer. I just wanted to get rid of them. Uh, so anyhow, I think they're over here. They are an Easter parade couple. They are, I don't have stuff on top of these bins. I think they might be in this bin. Um, yeah, I think she is the, I think she is the gal. I will have to double, she's actually very large. And then the, the guy, Actually, no, maybe not. I feel like, I feel like, uh, I'm going to have to double check on these. Um, I think this is definitely the guy, but I, I think she's too large. I don't think she's the one. Maybe I put them in, in different bins. I'm going to go double check on this real quick. Okay. So I don't think either one of these are the actual ones. Um, and now I'm looking at the listing date and I think that the ones I'm looking for may actually not have come from that $100 lot. I think they may have been purchased afterwards. I don't think they're in that bin either. Um, because I did list them while I was at this warehouse. So they're not even the ones I thought. So maybe I actually should have taken a higher offer or countered, I guess. I don't know. Yeah, they're in here. Yep. This guy, he's cute. And this gal right here. Yeah, these are a really cute couple. I really think I probably accepted way too low of an offer. Uh, I should have checked. I should have checked my listing price because I did have them listed. I had them listed that high for a reason. Um, so yeah, I should have gone a little bit higher at least. But anyhow, 45 bucks. And these gals and guys, gal and guy, probably like 20 some inches tall. All right. All right, next item we're looking for is just a little um, St. Nicholas Square like figurine accessory. It sold for $9 plus shipping because it was on sale and that should be in this box the skier yep right here 
these came out of uh, an auction lot back in November, I believe. And I have pretty much sold almost all of these now. All of these little things. Look, I sold it for more than it originally sold for. A lot of these are selling for like 10 to $13 a piece. This is just a little single guy, so I listed them for 10 And like I said, with the 10% off, came to 9 bucks. I have stuff, stuff dropping down through here. Oh. <sighs> right, next item we're looking for is a video game. It's Hot Shots Golf. And it sold for $17.10 with free shipping. And that sold on the sale also. So it's a PS... There's glare here. PS3 game. So, yeah. I think I got this sometime in the spring, maybe. All right, now we're going to look in bin U3 for a pair of MNG jeans, black jeans. They sold for, I think, $13.49 plus shipping uh, on the sale. I've been selling... I've been selling a lot of jeans recently. Some are older style, too, that I've had for a while. I've had them so long, they're coming back into style. <laughs> All right. They are in here somewhere. Not there. That doesn't look like jeans. Mm, where are they? They're supposed to be in U3. This is U3. Sometimes, sometimes, oh, I think here they are in the bottom. Alice. Alice. Let's see. Yep, MNG jeans. Alice. All right. Don't know what I paid for these. Had these for a little while. I don't even think I, uh, I don't think I've mentioned any prices. I'm like, I am off my, uh, my YouTube filming game today. I haven't done it for a few days and I don't know what the heck I'm doing. Yeah. I haven't given you prices. Um, <laughs> I think, I don't know, video game, probably a dollar. Listen, I probably did not pay much for this stuff. Let's just put it that way. The little ice cream bowl, I think I paid three or five, um, uh, the cross stitch kit that was just in such a bundle. I probably paid, I probably paid under a dollar when all was said and done. Uh, so yeah, that that's that's as good as it's gonna get for what I paid for stuff today, guys. All right, guys, I think we're gonna pull two more items and we are gonna call it a day. I need to get this shipping out. Um, so the one item is a real fur mink shawl. Um, and if this offends anyone, I am sorry, but yes, I will sell vintage furs. They are already, they're already made. They're already out there in the world and um, I have no problem reselling them. Some people do, I don't. If I'm not gonna sell them and make the money, somebody else is going to. Um, so yeah. That's the way I feel about that. Um, I don't have any problems selling, selling fur. Um, so anyhow, let's go grab it. So this is actually over here in this pile, but um, this one has like a lot of issues. Never, never got that listed yet. But this one, I took a best offer of sixty dollars. I had it listed for about a hundred, and you know what? Um, I paid 10 for it last year. Flemington Furs. It was a big local furrier in the area. I mean, like everyone knew about Flemington Furs, or at least I think so anyway. But I mean, it wasn't too far from where I grew up as a kid. So um, I don't know. I guess that's why I knew about it. It was like, you know, the name. So anyhow, it does have some custom embroidery inside and yeah still made a decent profit on it i did like i said i paid i paid ten dollars for this i believe it was over the summer at a thrift store uh i may have even had it for a year it may have even been the previous year uh but it was definitely since i've been here at the warehouse so yeah took an offer of sixty dollars plus shipping all right next item it's just 
It's just a really tiny item. It is a switch plate. I probably did not pay a lot for it. Um, and at its 10% off sale price, it sold for $5.39. And I honestly don't like selling stuff for under $10. I mean, definitely a couple things sold under 10 this, this time around because of my sale. Uh, so even if it was priced at 10, it sold for under 10. Um, but I do still have a handful of items that are, you know, under $10, but I really don't like selling anything for under $10. But this little tiny switch plate, I probably had multiples of them. Um, I'm guessing, or I probably paid very, very little for it. Somehow it ended up listed. It is a Hello Kitty switch plate. Like I said, on the sale, it sold for $5.39, I believe, plus shipping. It is in this box. I was in this box, remember, a couple weeks ago, and I'm like, why was there plush in here? Well, there's still plush in here. Okay, here it is. Nope, that's not it. Yep, see, I knew I had multiple switch plates. Maybe they even came from a rummage. If they came from a rummage, it makes sense why I have them. But So yeah, here we go. This is the switch plate. You know what, though? Super small, easy to store, easy to lift, easy to ship. I'm not mad about it. It all adds up. So you guys, I do have a few more items to pull, but that's going to wrap it up for the video because I need to get a move on now, get this stuff ready. Uh, one item's going to my FedEx drop off. So I need to get over there before they pick up for the day. Um, but yeah, I'll be back later in the week with another video. Um, got to get my mind right. Cause who, I feel like I struggled on this one. <laughs> I was like all over the place, but anyway, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video and I hope you enjoyed my viewer mail. Wow. Like so crazy. Um, just so, so impressed and thankful. Like that's really awesome of you guys to send me that stuff. Um, anyway, thanks again for watching guys. If you've liked this video, please give me a thumbs up, comment, subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already and hit that little bell button. So you get notifications every time I upload and until next time. Bye.